book lovers Laura here I'm back to do another reading vlog so this is Jack oh hey book lovers Laura here I'm back to do another reading vlog so this is the first official reading vlog for February and in February I tend to read a lot of romances um, but I also want to do this new thing which is called attack of the TBR I don't know if anyone else has done this I'm just sort of making up a name for it but I'm just going to kind of pull some books from my TBR, uh, mostly, here, I'll show you. I have a shelf right here, which has all my, most of these are Marvel Funkos, and I'm going to choose a book every single month from the shelf, and then uh, that book will kind of be based on the theme that I'm going to do that month. I just decided to do this because I sit here a lot when I read, and I get motivated to read these books. So, because this was Valentine's Day, or the month of romance, as we say, and I tend to le read a lot of romance books in this month, I decided to do that with my TBR for this month. I also just came off of reading quite a bit of um, YA fantasy, so I think I need a little bit of a break. So, the book I pulled off this shelf was Speak Easy, Speak Love by Michaela George. My friend Tiffany... Bought, I think either bought this for me or told me to buy it. I can't remember. Um, but it's a much to do about nothing retelling in the 1920s. And it says three girls, three boys. By the end of the summer, filled with romance, misunderstandings, witty meditations, and daring escapades, they'll either all be enemies or they'll all be in love. Um, I just finished watching the Bridgerton series and I am craving some you know, older reads. So this is the one that I pulled off of that shelf. So this will be one that I'm definitely hoping to get to this week. Um, but here are just some books that I pulled to kind of make it a romantic read, like a romantic thing. So Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting is a is an adult rom-com about a baking shop. I think it's a cupcake and cocktail shop. And I think that these two kings, they these two cup, these two people, they wind up opening competing bars next to each other so this is one that I'm actually going to read first it's not that long and I've heard really good things about this book from a couple of my romance readers so I really hope they like this I also just picked up it only happens at the movies from my library this is another like young adult romance book that I just picked up and I would love to tackle this so I can return it to the library while my library is opening and then another which is really where this one came from my a sweet mess by jc lee is another like baking themed romantic comedy and then another book that i'm gonna add i i may finish as we see is smash it by christina simone this is one that i recently bought and it's a romance with like a self-discovery twist i am also doing the avengers reading challenge and I went into this month sort of thinking that I wasn't going to really do the do the reading challenge this month, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read the books and then just see like what book will kind of fit the challenge. So I'm, I have a, quite a few books on my YouTube queue that I want to kind of tackle. So I'm going to start Kiss My Cupcake and then I'll report back what, about my thoughts when I read about 50 pages and I will give you guys my thoughts in a little bit. Talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. Here I'm back. So it's about 7:30. I did wind up reading the first 50 pages and Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. I, this book is just fun. Like it's just fun. It's making me super hungry. Um, but it basically stars this girl named Blair and Ronan, and they Ron, Blair is a entrepreneur. She wants to open up this new cupcake shop, which is like oh, what's it called? It's called um cup. It's like. Larry here, I'm back. I just want to do a quick update. It's 7.30. I did end up reading about, about 50 pages of Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting, and I want to give a brief summary of the first 50 pages. But right now it's a one-person point of view story. It may change when we, we, we may get the male point of view. I've said this a while. I do like that a little bit more because I feel like you get to know both characters pretty much that way, and I like those stories a little bit more. This concept is just so charming, and it's making me so hungry. But you're basically following this girl named Blair and she is opening up a new cupcake shop and her cupcake is like she sells cupcakes and booze um, and next door there is this guy who has a bar that does like axe throwing and they kind of start off not exactly on the right foot and they're sort of like competing for business I guess you could say 
and I'm liking it. I admit, this book is making me super hungry. Like, I just had cake because I was really, really hungry for it. Like, just hungry in general. But I love books about baking. That is, like, one of my romance, like, tropes that I really enjoy. I have another one, another YA book on my TBR, like, by Jennifer Yen that I'm really excited to read. So, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick update about this. Also, I didn't talk about this in my last reading vlog, but I did finish watching Bridgerton, um, which have to admit, I really, really like that show. Um, it was really, really good, and I think I might take a little bit of Agents of Shields break, and I might watch Dairy Girls, which the girl that plays Penelope in that is in that, and I might just see if I like it. So yeah, um, I also have been watching some videos wrapping up their months and stuff, and I was watching one by Super Space Check, and she, again, is such, I love her content. I'm so glad she's back. She never will watch this, but she's a great content creator. If you're looking for someone that has a wide range of interests, I would definitely recommend you check her out. But she was in her, like, what she learned from her book to break. I did one of those, like, why when I was doing Willy Wonka, I did a book to break. I took, like, a month off, like, two months off, it turned out to be because of everything going on. And I learned a few things. She learned a lot. She took like six months off, which is a good decision if you need to. I've, I've been hearing a lot of creators recently in the past couple of months talk about it getting overwhelming. And even like sometimes with me, like I rush to read and I'm trying so hard to kind of put that on the back burner and not rush to read. But I have decided to, st I've, I've been listening to Beyond the Dark and Shore for the Avengers reading challenge and I'm just gonna put it down because I'm not really liking it that much and I feel like I'm just reading it for the challenge and I don't want to do that so I'm gonna put that book down and I think I'm gonna read a little bit more of this and then I think I'm going to take my audiobook which is the Stacey Abrams one I'm gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing um so yeah that's my that, that's what I'm gonna do I just I'm gonna stop listening to that right now I do have it it was like an audible plus feature so if I do want to read it again I will um, and I might just try to find a book that, it's just, it's a hard prompt. It's like about Vikings, and I don't really have any Viking books that I want to read. So that one might be a, a thing I put off till the end. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to read a little bit more of Kiss My Cupcake. I'll probably read maybe like about 50 more pages. And then I'm just going to play a little bit of Animal Crossing with my audiobook. So I will talk to you guys when I read a little bit more. But talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. Here I'm back. It is about... 3.35 on February 3rd, actually. So I did wind up reading a little bit more during work of Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. This is exactly the book that I needed. I was I felt a little bit burned out from fantasy, so this is my read that I'm really enjoying. I love the characters in this. Also, she is such like a fandom, a fandom person. And I've said this before, I love, like, YA contemporaries that have, like, a business model or, like, a food element, and this is really, really cute. I'm also a big fan, so I hate to love romance. I also like the baking and the cupcake stuff. I think it's great. I, I really like it, and I love that it's, it did become dual point of view. I thought it would, but it definitely did, and I like getting to know Rowan's side of it and, like, his characters. I'm really liking it. I'm about 121 pages in, and I'm just going to keep reading. Um, I had a good day at work. It wasn't as chaotic as it normally is. It was relaxing. We're still teaching from home. Um, I also did make a little bit of a listening progress on the podcast I'm catching up to. I didn't wind up listening to lead yet, but I think I'm going to do that when I play Animal Crossing a little bit later. But I'm going to read about two more chapters, and when I get up to page 150, I'll give you guys a quick update. But I really am just liking the dynamics. I'm liking that there's a competition element. Um, there's a YouTuber that's kind of going around and she's kind of ranking the best bars and the bars are not only competing against each other. There's a lot of sexy, like sexual tension building and a lot of funny moments. And can we just say this cover's pretty? So I'm going to keep reading this and I'll give you guys an update when I can. Bye. Very just checking back in. I did actually wind up getting into page 181 in Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. This book is just such a fun read. It does deal like she's, you know, she's, her parents are very, very high class. So they're going to visit them and her parents have a restaurant. But the way her parents talk to her just made me like a little bit uncomfortable. I'll say that like it's very much was focused on weight. So I would say that that's a big topic in that scene. And it even made me a little bit uncomfortable, like the what she was dealing with. I really like Rowan's reaction in that scene because I think it just it was it was sort of blindsiding to him sort of was like like it was for the audience I like how um Hel Helena Hunting did that I thought it was really 
a good way to tell the story, but it did definitely make me uncomfortable. I think that was sort of the point. I just really am liking it. It's such a fun read. I think there's a twist on the horizon. I, I, I smell a twist in my future, but I really am liking it. So I'm going to keep reading, um, and I will update you guys when I get up to page, like, 230, probably. But so far, it's quite fun, and it's, like, the perfect Valentine's Day read. So I'm really happy that I picked it up. Talk to you guys in a bit. Thanks. Here, just checking back in. It is about 7.01, and I do wind up getting up to page 200 in Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. I just, this book is just so charming. Um, it's definitely love to hate, but I also love when the characters are kind of forced to work together in kind of like an unexpected situation. That's definitely the, the element for these two characters because they're forced to work together to save them up against like another restaurant encroaching in on their territory. But it's just so fun. It's making me so hungry. They talk about cupcakes a lot and... The male's reaction to the cupcakes that she bakes is just amazing. I'm so fond of this book. So I'm also watching some reading wrap-ups that people have been posting, which I also really, really like to watch as background noise. Um, so I'm going to grab a snack, and then I am going to read a little bit more. My goal is to get up to page 300 tonight. That's my goal, and I think that's a pretty solid goal. But I will talk to you guys when I read up to page 250. Bye, guys. Here and back. It's about 7.46. I did actually wind up getting up to page 230 in Kiss My Cupcake. And I will say this is actually a pretty good, like, Christmassy fall romance. So if you're looking for one that kind of does a bunch of different holidays, you definitely be Thanksgiving. We're about to do Christmas. We're about to do New Year's. So this actually might be a pretty good holiday read. I mean, it's not pitched as that. But I find, I'm just finding it fun. I just like that they're working together. I have a thing about, like, rivals working together. I always like that as, like, a trope. I do like the enemies trope again, but this is just, like, a sub, a mini element that I do like. And I'm just really liking it. Um, but, yeah, I am going to stop reading for the night. I'm either going to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or Life, or, um, I keep wanting to say, I keep wanting to call it Lifeguard. Flight Attendant by Kaylee Cuoco, but I want to do a little bit of wandering on the web. I haven't done that today, um, kind of catch up with the news, which I always give myself like 20 minutes of doing that. So I'm going to go do that. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I also have to do some prepping for my posts for the next couple of weeks for school, which is always fun. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Here, just checking back in. Oh, sorry, my angle's a little bit weird. Um, it is about 4.30. I did wind up reading a little bit more of Kiss My Cupcake Bot by Helena Hunting. I wound up getting up to page 250 in this, which is where, which, was, which was my goal last night. So I read this during work. We're starting a new, a, a new unit, so I think it's going to cut down on my reading time a little bit in between classes, but that's okay. Um, but I think I'm going to read like about 50 more pages of this and then I'm going to take a little bit of a reading break because I want to listen to a podcast episode that I'm going to listen to and do, go do my walking workouts. It's really cold here, so I'm not going to go outside and like do my normal walk because it's still quite chilly and there's snow everywhere, but I do want to do it. So I'm going to read about 50 pages of this, watch one of my shorter YouTube videos, and then I'll probably go for that walk and listen to one of my podcast episodes that I've been waiting for. I also might change up my TBR a little bit for my next book that I'm going to pick up. I have some books that I've been dying to read and they are in the adult category so I might change this and make this like an adult themed reading blog because I have a few adult books that like are not romances but we'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling after this one but so far I'm really liking it and we're getting to the crux of it. We're getting to like the last hundred pages and I think the story is going to heat up in several ways and I'm really excited so I'm going to read about 50 pages, check in with you guys, and then do my workout, and then check in with you guys again. Also, last night, I did wind up watching another episode of Flight Attendant, which stars Kaylee Cuoco. I really am liking that show a lot. I love Kaylee Cuoco as an actress. I think she's great. She's from The Big Bang Theory and back in the day Charmed and, you know, a bunch of other shows. But I really like her, and I the show is really interesting. They have, like, a fun cast of characters. So I think I'm probably going to watch that. I do want to watch another episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I just got a little bit distracted last night, to be honest. Um, I've been following the news about everything. They are talking a lot about schools opening up again officially throughout all of the United States. And I'm a teacher, so I have to admit I'm watching that with a keen eye just to kind of see what they're going to do. 
Um, I am scheduled to get my second vaccine on Thursday of next week, so at least I will have some protection, but, you know, still stay stationed, socially distant. But one thing that's coming out of it is a lot of reading time, so I'm going to enjoy that while I have it. I'm going to go read, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey, Lori here, just checking back in. I did wind up reading up to page 300 in Kiss My Cupcake. I'm really liking this book. This, again, is another, like, fun romance for a bunch of different holidays. It celebrates Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day. So, yeah, this is, like, a really fun read. I'm really liking it. I'm liking how the competition element is being fun. I think that it's the right mix of tension and sexy. I think it's just great. I'm really intrigued. I'm intrigued to see how it ends. About 20, 20 to 30 pages left, so I'm going to go tackle the rest of it, and then I'll give you guys another update. But overall, such a fun read, and really glad that I picked it up. Hey here, I'm back. I just wound up actually last night finishing Kiss My Cupcake, and I just never wound up updating. I found this to be a super fun read. Like, Perfect holiday themed dream. It several's a couple of holidays. I thought it was the right balance between steamy and sexy. Just pure fun. I love the love to hate romance. I really love the business element. I love the cupcake element. It was great. I will definitely check out more about this author in the future, but I really like this read. So I'm not just I haven't decided what I'm gonna read officially next, but I did want to at least sort of start. Oh, I don't know where the book went. I do want to at least start Way of Kings. I don't know where my bookmark went. I'll have to find it. Um, but I do want to start this and see if I can read about like 50 pages of this because it is Friday, but I did wind up doing my prep stuff beforehand. I did it like last night, so I have a little bit of time. But yeah, I'm going to start this and see how far I get. And if I love it, I might read it this weekend. And if I don't, if I don't like feel the need to keep going, maybe I'll pick up something else. So that's sort of my plan of attack, but I am going to at least start it and see how I feel. I know Super Space Chick loved this series, Peru's Project loves this series, um, Alexa Loves Books loved this series, so I'm really trying to get into this series. It's a longer fantasy series, and I've struggled with that as of late. So I'm going to make it some effort. I'm going to give it some time while I'm teaching and the kids are doing some creative writing, I'm going to read this and see if I enjoy it. And then I'll update you guys probably right around the time I end work for the day. Today is where we're heading into a weekend. So I will talk to you guys at that point. I'm back. So it is close to like 5.30. I did wind up teaching all day. I wound up catching up on some podcasts. And I did wind up making a little bit of progress on Way of Kings. Um, I read to about page 53. I will admit, this is a super slow start. I really am unsure what's happening. I don't really know what to expect. I know it's a really, really sweeping series, but I've met a character named Kaladine, who's in a bit of a bad spot. We kind of learned briefly about the world building. There's a lot of elements I don't really understand yet, but again, I know I need to give this book a bit more. This is only 50 pages in, and it's like a thousand page book, so with the two parts, I feel like by the end of this book, I'll feel a little bit better about it, but I don't want to say too much. I am just going to kind of read like 50 pages here and there, but I do want to chat through my reading plans for this weekend, so I am going to kind of focus on some adult reads. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to feel like reading other than just adult. That was kind of what this reading blog was sort of based on, but I do want to pick up a book. It's called Path of Bones. Um, this is, you guys really, really can't see this, but um, so I am really excited to start this. I have, I have been following a group of podcasters since like MuggleCast days, like, and that's like MuggleCast. I knew, started listening to MuggleCast when I was in like high school. So that's like 2006, you know, 2007, around there I started listening to MuggleCast. Um, and I've just met an, I mean, not met, but I've like encountered an amazing group of people through this podcast, through Hyperbole, and through a bunch of different podcasts that all these people host together. They feel like my friends. I feel like we are on like, these are like my fandom friends, and I feel like they understand me. I also listen to like Millennial with Andrew and that crew, I listen to MuggleCast, I listen to Rewatchable, I listen to all these podcasts, and these podcasts feel like they're my friends. That's weird to say about podcast people, but that's what it feels like. It feels like I know these people on like a deep level and like we get each other. I've never met them. But one of the girls in this podcast group, her name is Karen, she wrote a book called Path of Bones and it's like a paranormal mystery series 
this is the picture. I'm really excited to dive into this book. I haven't read like a paranormal fantasy series, like a paranormal mystery series in a bit. I know it has to do with ghosts. I know it's book one in a three book series. I'm really excited to dive in. So I'm going to start reading. Oh my god, I don't know if she ever is going to watch this video. But Karen, if you watch this, I really hope that you like my thoughts. So I'm going to kind of read and I'm going to kind of pop in like every couple of pages, every like 50 pages and kind of give you guys an update as I normally do. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to start it. So I'm going to go read it and get sucked into this world. And I will update you guys on again. Bye. Quick update. I did wind up getting up to page about 18. So I can feel like I have like a pretty solid understanding. So this is sort of a spinoff series of another series that like her co-author wrote. Um, let me see if it says. I think this is the spinoff of the it's like the Mitch Mitch Tanner series I think but she's a she, you basically this book series follows a girl named Cassie and in the past she was basically the um the victim of a serial killer and he actually killed her and she came back to life but when she came back to life she basically has visions of ghosts so the first chapter of this book is following a ghost as the ghost is watching people find her body and the second chapter is kind of Cassie kind of getting her life together. It's set in the, in like six months after her serial killer was put to death with the, with, with the death penalty. Um, she's still dealing with a lot of PTSD, a lot of trauma. She's also working at a museum, which is a fun setting, I think. I like books that have unique jobs. Always said this or where the job is like an element to it. Um, but there is a murder mystery, and I'm I'm wondering, like, how her character is going to sort of get involved. She has helped out the police before in previous books. I think I listened to an interview she wrote, um, or, like, is in the middle of doing with the podcast she's on. Really intrigued, though. Like, it's been a while since I read, like, a pure adult mystery series. Like, again, the last one I remember reading was probably the Stephen White series, and that was, like a million years ago um but I really like it I think it's just fun I like her as a character she's definitely not like a super confident character there's also a potential romance his name is Jason I've only met his name but I can see some moments between them but I'm really excited about this mystery because it feels like it's like a serial killer mystery and um as someone that watched a lot of true crime shows I am fascinated by serial killers so yeah I'm going to get back to reading, and when I read probably about to page 50, I'll give you guys another update. Right here, I'm back. I did wind up getting up to page 50 in Panth of Bones. I have to admit, I'm really liking this book, like, very, very much so. It's reading to me almost like a paranormal TV show, and very, very fast-paced. I really love the character of Cassie. The one thing I like about, um, I'm just going to call her Karen because that's how I know her. I know she has a pen name on this book. The one thing I like about Karen's writing style is she kind of makes her feel like a real person. She definitely dives into the hearts and especially like the post-traumatic stress disorder that she's dealing with, all the anxiety. She really kind of dived into that part of it that I really liked. I just felt super connected to Cassie and I'm really intrigued by her the ghost power she has. She makes them seem, like, a little bit more, like, open-minded. Like, there's a lot of different elements into it. And she did lose her powers, her powers, I'll say, when something happened to her in the past. But now there's a murder mystery case that's kind of coming, and there's some ghosts that are kind of grabbing her attention. But it's not like it was in the past when she had these powers. You can also tell how this situation with the ghosts have really affected her life, especially with her family. That was sort of devastating to read. But I'm really intrigued. I'm really intrigued to see where the story goes. And I like the side characters and the world she's built. I'm very much a world building person and very much like a side character person. I like side characters to sort of kind of build my world. Really, really liking this. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break for the evening. I want to watch WandaVision and I want to watch Call Me Cat. And then I don't know what I'm going to watch next. I'm sort of in the middle of a TV show decision making. I want to figure out what I want to focus on. But yeah, so I will update you guys tomorrow. It is Saturday. Um, I did do all my schoolwork, which is good. Um, I actually do want to start the goal of getting up every single Saturday at 7.30. I know that's like, you should sleep in. But I find that if I wake up actually earlier, I'm more productive. So 
I do want to get up early. I do want to film some YouTube videos tomorrow as well. Make some progress on this and see if I can make some progress. I'm, and I'm still like indecisive. I don't know if I'm going to buy the second one because there is a second one that just came out. I guess it sort of depends on how this book ends and how motivated I am. But I also do have a couple of other adult reads that have been, you know, attacking me. And they're all like, there's three like solid mystery thrillers that I do have that are adult. One is historical fiction. One is contemporary. And there's this that's paranormal. So I don't know. We, we will see. But I will update you guys tomorrow morning when I wake up. And I will update on what I watched. And I will see you guys later. I'm sorry here I'm back. It's about 20. I did wind up waking up. I did actually do my goal and I woke up at 7 30 which is always a little bit of an adventure because I never know if it's gonna work but I did wake up early. So what I think I'm gonna do is I did wind up doing my Skillshare class. I journaled a little bit which I have been trying to get better on. I keep trying to make a goal to like actually journal in the middle of the week but it's yet to be a success so far. But last night I did wind up watching WandaVision, which is such a unique show. Like it's one of those shows. I, I was talking to someone on Twitter that like I know a little bit and like she had said she's like, I'm so happy Marvel's back in our lives. And it was like a like a like it was like over a year that we didn't have anything no more no new Marvel properties to like watch and I, I really miss them because they are such a they're such a big part of my entertainment life. Um, so it's nice to just have to have, have something to watch, even if we're not going to have movies for a little bit because of the pandemic, but I'm grateful for Disney Plus. I also watched Call Me Cat, the newest episode, which just made me laugh. It was just, it was just funny. It just, it made, it surprisingly made me miss a gym because that was what the episode was about, going to a gym. Um, and then I watched another episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. A moment that I've been waiting for finally happens in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, I been waiting for this moment for quite a bit of time so I'm actually super excited that 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 moment happened there was no follow-through so hopefully we'll get some follow-through in a little bit um I'm actually gonna go try to film some videos because it's still a little bit early I want to film a video or two so I'm gonna kind of decide what I want to film for the rest of the month I have to film two videos and I do have a week off like next week well actually the end of this week I have all Friday but I'm supposed to get my COVID vaccination Thursday and they said that you might have some some side effects so I'm just trying to prepare myself to be a little bit relaxed this weekend if I have to be um so yeah that's sort of my plan to sort of be a little bit relaxed and not have to worry about anything if anything goes wrong so um yeah I think on what the Wednesday night I'm gonna do kind of my vlog planning and stuff so that I have like a free day if I need it um, but yeah, so I'm going to go figure out what I want to film and I will update you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hey, here I'm back. It's about 12, 14. I did want to running up to town. I did go to yoga. I went to the library. I got a couple of books. I'll probably show them a little bit later because they're in the corner right now. But, <coughs> sorry, I just finished eating. Um, but I did wind up reading a little bit more of Path of Bones. Um, I'm really liking this book. The one thing I do like about this book a lot is it has chapters that are told from, like, the killer's point of view. The only series I have read that has done that, um, was the Natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I read that quite a bit ago, and I really like getting into kind of, like, the killer's head. Really enjoying this book. Quite fun. <laughs> about 65 pages and it's really not that long of a book it's only like 260 but I really am enjoying it so I just want to give you guys a YouTube update I again my YouTube queue always overflows just because I follow so many people like it's a ridiculous amount of videos I've seen it's just so I'm have, flawless, ooh, isn't it sorry there's background noise um I have about 45 videos left a lot of them are wrap-ups and you know and it's sort of the year video I mean sort of the month video so I'm gonna just kind of take a couple hours and just kind of get down my um get down my Netflix queue, which is a, I mean, my YouTube queue, which is a goal. Um, and then eventually I do want to catch up on the CW shows. Cause I think I'm like two weeks behind for all of them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make some reading progress. And when I read to about page a hundred, I'll give you guys a check in. I'm really expecting this to kind of be a fast paced adventure mystery. Really like the world building really like Cassie as a main character. I think she's very like, I feel like she could be my friend, and I like characters like that. I feel very a lot of sympathy for her. I do spy a little bit of romance on the horizon. So I'm going to get back to reading, and I'll update you guys when I read about to about page 100.
and back. It's about 137. We went up getting up to page 103, chapter 18. You guys can't see it's so glary. In Path of Bones. I'm really liking this book, and the one thing I'm liking about it is I do read cozy mysteries. I read a couple of cozy mystery series. The main one that I do read is the Hannah Swanson series, which is like 13 books long. I will say this, this book definitely reads more like a paranormal mystery thriller, but it does have a small town in, jo in a Georgia, I think? Atlanta, I think she's Savannah. Yeah, Savannah, Georgia. Um, it does have like a small town, and I love books set in small towns. Um, I also like that there's like a bunch of different side characters that we're meeting, and I just like the mystery. I think it's interesting. I like also the development of the ghost world. I think ghost books are sometimes a little bit hard to write because you have to like kind of create a world. The one thing that this author does super well is she kind of makes it, a, she builds your world, but she kind of gives you a bunch of different options for ghosts' options, and I like that. I just, I, I'm just really captivated by her writing style. I'm reading this book super fast. I really love Cassie as a main character. I also like that we do get, like, we, you know, what we had one chapter in the ghost's point of view, which I really enjoyed, and then we have a couple of chapters in, um, the, um, like, the killer's point of view, which I think is a really interesting writing choice. But we're also talking about like sacrificial killings and stuff like that. I think it's a really, really fast paced story and I almost don't want to stop reading it. So I'm going to keep reading and I will update you guys when I read probably like 50 more pages. Um, but yeah, really, really fun read and so happy that I picked it up. Talk to you guys in a bit. I'm back. It's about 2.41. I did wind up getting up to page 132, so that's like 50% done. I am going to try to read until 50, per, 50 um, like 50, 150, and then I'm probably going to take a little bit of a reading break. I'm really intrigued about the mystery. I think it's getting, it's diving in. We're also getting more point of views, which I am really enjoying because you, again, I always say this, like the more point of views you have in a story, the more expanded the world is. So now we got a point of view from the detective, like the lead detective's point of view. I also do want to say that normally when you read a book about a female helping out a cop, 98% of the time that female cop is 90% male and that's always there's always a weird dynamic between those two characters and it sometimes leads to romance not always but most of the series I have read that has been a trope where it led to romance this one the lead cop is female and I think that that's a very interesting dynamic also the cop is um the cop um you know it takes place in a, one of the suspects they're dealing with is an african-american woman her daughter died and I think that that's a very interesting dynamic that you see between all the different characters in this story because it does take place in Georgia which is a very interesting community just to set a story in um but yeah it's it's great I really like it there was we're also getting more point of view chapters from the killer's point of view which I'm really liking and I just want to know what happens like I have no theories about who 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 it might be um but there's some hostility between her and the cop she's working with, and I think that that's super interesting. I just really like Cassie as a character. I think she's great. So I'm going to go back to reading, and I'll update you guys before I take my break. We're checking back in. It is 3.46. I did wind up taking a little bit of a break. I also did make quite a bit of progress on Lead from the Outside by Stacey Abrams. That is my nonfiction book for the month that I'm trying to tackle. I also think I'm going to add one during that week that I have off. Um, and I have finally decided to get Better Courses Plus. Um, I'm going to plan for pay for a year in advance. I have a weird thing about like monthly things. I just like paying it out front. I don't have to worry about it. But it, I, since I'm no, for those that don't know, I have three college degrees. Um, and I miss learning. I honestly do. I, I'm possibly considering about getting a fourth college degree. But it's going to have to wait a little bit. Um, but I think I'm just going to get um, a yearly subscription of that because I love my Skillshare classes. Like, they're very interesting and I'm really liking that. That's more like lifestyle or productivity. But I'm looking for some, like, educational content. So I'm hoping that that one kind of will do the trick. And I'm definitely going to use it over the summer. Um, but since I have a week off coming up, I think I'm going to kind of experiment it with that week off that I have. So that's kind of like an update. But I'm really liking the book from by, by Stacey Abrams. She kind of gives you a lot of like um, managerial like advice and tips and tricks about just being like in whatever chosen profession you are. She's a great writer. I really really like that one, and I have about like I was saying I I have about like an hour and a half left of that one. Um, but I am pleased to report 
that I did wind up getting up to page, well, I'm like, I'm 50% done with it. So I'm on like page, I think like 150. We have, I'm very curious how this book, like what the rest of this book is going to be. I'm hopeful it will go in one direction. I'm hopeful. So I will kind of give you guys my thoughts when I read like a little bit more. I have like 100 pages left of it. I'm really liking it. I love Cassie as a character. Cassie is like one of those characters that is a lot braver than me. I always read thrillers. I'm like, oh my goodness, why are you putting yourself into danger? Um, she's very, very brave. I am the opposite of that. I am like a chicken. I would run away. She does not do that. Also, I really like how she's building the ghost world. Really intrigued. Going to keep reading. We'll update you guys when I read another 50 pages. Okay, here I'm back. It is about 5.30. I did wind up getting up to page 200, so I have 60 pages left. So this book did not go in the direction I thought it was going to go, but it went in an even, like, cooler direction, which I am happy about, and I still think my thought is probably going to get wrapped up. I was sort of wondering why the reveal happened sooner than I thought it was going to, but it sort of was a more complicated mystery, which I love. I love her plotting this story. I'm really curious, like, how it's all going to wind up and shake out in the end. Um, also, selfishly, there's a character named Laura in this book, and I'm going to assume that because I know this person, somewhat, somewhat, it's going to be named after me. It's not named after me, but in my own head, I know her. There's a character named Laura. It's named after me. <laughs> totally selfish, but I just, I'm just totally thinking that. Um... But yeah, like, I'm really intrigued to see how it, how it, like, winds out. I really like how she's building up the mystery world. Um, there's a little, like, world build, like, more, like, um, fast, pl fast paced plot stuff that I wish she would have expanded, like, a little bit. But other than that, I'm really, really liking it. It's probably gonna be, like, an either a 4.5 star read or a 5 star read. I will see how the end shakes out, um... I read a lot of cozy mysteries, and those mysteries tend to not be as strong, but I'm really, really liking this book. Or, like, sometimes the mysteries in, like, longer series, the mysteries tend to be a little bit weaker, and it's more focused on character building and, like, the world building of it, especially if it's in, like, a small town. This book does take place in, like, a smaller town. But so far, all the elements of this book are great. Super fast paid. I love the, I love, like, the world building, the ghost world. I think it would be a great read. To read around Halloween. There is a potential romance match. But overall I'm really really liking it. And I can't wait to keep reading. So I'm going to keep reading. And I'll probably give you like two more check-ins. Before the end. I'll probably give you guys like one more prediction check-in. And then I'll you know. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. Sorry I look a little bit different. I took a shower so my hair's like wet. But I did want to finish Path of Bones. I am doing everything in my power. To not read the next book like right away because I'm trying to read my physical books as well as my like ebooks. That book was so good. Like, I really think that that book captured so many elements in a read that I liked. It was an it was a combination of like a mystery thriller with also elements of the cozy mystery stories that I really like, but also the paranormal elements rolled into one story. And the mystery the, like, the thriller and the mystery and the case that was involved in that book was so well done. I, like, it blew my mind, like, how complicated it was and how I didn't really see it coming. Um, I think it, I really can't wait to see what happens next because the left, the last page left me off on, like, two big cliffhangers and I need to know what happens. So, I may not last very, very long. I may actually wind up reading it next month for, like, a sequel reading vlog. Because I am bad at reading reading sequels. But oh my god, it was so good. I really, really liked it. So glad that I picked it up. And I just, I thought it was great. I, I, really, I really liked it. I also think that she tackled like PTSD and anxiety in the story very, very well. Um, I will, I, I, and again, the first book in a series, you, you have to kind of build your world. So I think she did very, very good with the with the ghost world. I just wonder if maybe like one story in the future will focus a little bit more on like the museum she works at because I think that that part's really interesting. And I know she, as a person, has like a very like a, like an art history background. So I wonder if maybe one of the stories in the future will sort of like focus on a murder that maybe is more connected to her job. I think that would be super cool. Again, I really, really liked it. 
So, I am going to pick up another book. I This reading vlog totally went off the rails because I said in like the start that I was going to read other books. But you know what? I'm just going to read what I want. But I'm going to pick up A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem by Amanda Collins. This is like a Regency romance, like, kicked with like a mystery. And I've read quite a few Regency romances. I have not read anything by this author. I literally just saw this at Target. That's why I picked this up. But I think it's like she winds up stumbling into two like crime scenes and wind up getting involved in the mystery. It's not that long. It's like 350 pages about. So I'm going to start this. Also, YouTube cube update um because I'm watching I have I'm I actually did make some progress so I'm I have only like 27 videos left they're all pretty long but I'm gonna make some reading progress I'm gonna start this and see if I see if I'm engaged if I'm not engaged I might go and just buy <laughs> Karen's next book on my kindle but I think I should be okay because this is sort of I've, I've, I've wanted to read some Regency and I returned my own mind to the library because I didn't think I'd get around to them I bought this in December, so I'm gonna go start this. Give you guys, I'll read about like, maybe like, well, I'll read a few pages and then I'll give you guys my thoughts. Talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. All right, here, I'm just checking back in. I did wind up reading a quick 50 pages in A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem. This was definitely not what I was expecting, like going in, but it basically follows this these two characters. Well, it actually follows three, but it follows this character named Cat Lady Catherine Bosco, and she's a widow. And as I've learned from, like, other romance booktubers, if you're a widow in this society, you have a little bit more power than other female characters because you have been married, your husband died. So her so her husband ran a newspaper. And at the start of the story, there is, like, a serial killer going around, and she winds up meeting this girl in the first chapter. It's very, very quick. And they wind up deciding that they're going to write an article together about this serial killer and hopefully try to, like, kind of bring him to bring the killer to justice and they write this article but it leads to her the other character the inspector getting taken off the case um and then eventually a killer is found like the kill the killer is found they think the killer is found but it gets back to lady Catherine that her article may have done more harm than good i will say it's very very fast paced and i hope that you develop like the characters develop a little bit more but I'm intrigued to keep reading, and um, you know, I like the I like I like the newspaper element. I like that there's that they're kind of writing articles. I like that that they're sort of talking about like women should not hear bad things. I think that that's like very common in I think this is like 1865. So super interesting though. I do like I, I've I've always said I like romance books that have both characters' point of views, and this is kind of like my favorite elements of a Regency romance but mixed with a mystery so I'm really liking it I mean I know she wrote she writes quite a bit of like historical romances but I'm I'm enjoying it I'm gonna read another like I'm gonna try to read to page 100 and then I'm gonna see like what time it is also as a note I did wind up getting oh no that's not what I wanted um I did wind up getting up to 23 videos left in my YouTube queue, so this might just, I might just keep reading and see how far I can get for the evening, but it is definitely a pretty good read. I'm enjoying it. Definitely want to keep reading. This definitely screams to me more of, like, a, like, a Regency romance mixed with, like, a cozy mystery. Like, that's the vibes I'm getting, because those mysteries are not always as strong as, like, a thriller, but I tend to like them. But that's sort of the feel I'm getting with this. It's going to be kind of like a Regency romance mixed with like a cozy mystery, which I'm intrigued by. And I do like that we do get both characters' point of view. The two, like the two lady characters, their friendship was super like quick. Like you met them in the first chapter and then they just developed. But I do like that we have two girls, two girl characters working together. I think that's interesting. And I do like that she's a widow because that gives her a little bit more freedom. So... I'm going to go read a little bit more. Maybe I'll read about 50 more pages, and then I'm going to give you guys an update. Bye. It's Laurie here. I'm back. It is a snowy day here on Long Island, and it's also Super Bowl, which I really have no interest in other than to just watch Amanda Gorman, Amanda Gorman do another amazing poem. So that's my only interest. But I do want to take a little bit of time. I am still listening to... Um, 
Stacey Abrams and listening to her book, Lead from the Outside, which I'm loving. I'm really, really liking that. And I'm going to take a couple of minutes and kind of go through all of the audiobooks I own through Audible. I do mm-hmm. love my Audible mm-hmm. subscription, but in the past, like before this year, they had like these, like you got like two Audible originals. And now those Audible originals are automatically included in our membership for the most part. So I'm just going to kind of go through and see what audiobooks I have, what like if I've read them, if I haven't. I'm going to do a little bit of journaling in my journal book so I just know like what I have because lots of times I buy stuff and I just forget that I have it. So I want to have a like concrete understanding of what audiobooks I actually own. I just finished a video where I made my nonfiction goals and I'm going to kind of go through that and see are these on Libra, are these on at my library, are they on Hoopla, are they, so now I have to restart my video. Hi friends, Laura here, I'm back. It is almost 12 o'clock. I did want, I did want to go into yoga this morning. Also, last night, I fell down a Big Bang Theory train. I watched the first six episodes. <laughs> and I think what I'm going to do is, I was looking for a comedy to watch, and I couldn't really find anything new that I really, really liked. Nothing on Netflix was really, really catching my fancy. So, what I think I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to watch like, I'm going to still do my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. watch because I still have a couple of seasons left. But just kind of as, like, a palate cleanser, I'm going to rewatch Big Bang Theory. It's a very, very long show, but one that I have really, really enjoyed. So, today is the Super Bowl. It's snowing here, so I am still going to probably find a way to work out later, but it's probably going to be inside. Um, but I am going to kind of go through what my audio my audiobooks that I own. I am currently listening to Stacey Abrams' Lead from the Outside, which is the nonfiction book I'm reading for, um, you know, just because I wanted to, and it's, it's interesting. But I also, this morning, I did a nonfiction book TBR for myself that I'm going to try to challenge myself until the end of the year. Um, but I want to just identify what audiobooks I own out of those lists, what audiobooks my library has, like which ones Hoopla has, so just so I know which books I'm going to eventually have to buy and then kind of just buy some with my audiobook credits and then also go through all the audiobooks that I have, see the ones that I've read, see the ones that I no longer have an interest of reading and sort of just clean up my Audible because I've had Audible for about four to five years and it's just a lot of like stuff. So that is my plan. I am going to do that. I'm going to take my audiobook and I'm going to kind of R&D that stuff out and do some bullet journaling. So I will update you when I'm ready to start reading. And I'll be honest, I want to finish this book by today. So I have read about 62 pages, probably about 60 pages last night. It's a very, very quick read. It really reads me, reminds me of a cozy mystery mixed with a Regency romance, which I'm excited for. And I just want to dive in and kind of tackle the rest of it. So that's sort of my plan for today. When I'm ready to start reading and when I do all my audiobook stuff and we also are having some Super Bowl snacks, I will update you guys. Talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. Friends, Lori here. I did wind up doing my organization. I still want to do one more thing, but I think I'm going to do it a little bit later. But I am pleased to report that I did wind up finishing Lead from the Outside by Stacey Abrams. That was my audiobook for the month, my nonfiction audiobook for the month. So I am going to talk about my next audiobook in my next reading vlog, and I'm going to try to make some more progress on this. I'm going to read about like 60 more pages, and then I'm going to see how long this reading vlog is. Right now it's like over an hour, so I don't know how I feel about it being that long. But I am going to read to at least a page 100, and then I'm going to give you guys another quick check-in, and then I will see if I'm going to end this reading vlog or not. But I'm going to read a little bit more, and then I'll give you guys a quick update. Bye here to wrap up this reading vlog. I didn't realize how long it was going to be because I normally don't do a full week reading vlog, but this one just turned into one. So I just want to wrap stuff up. But I did wind up reading um, two full books and then I made some prog... Oh, actually three full books and then I made some progress on two others. So the first book I read in this reading vlog was Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. This is like, you know, like a contemporary romance novel. I would actually say that this is a great holiday read. Because you get like a cup, you get Thanksgiving, you get Christmas, you got New Year's, and you get Valentine's Day. But, if it, but you know, I really liked it. I wound up giving it four stars. I think that this was a perfect read. It was very, very steamy, very, very cute with a competition meets hate to love romance that I really, really wound up enjoying. And I wound up giving this one four stars for review. 
The next full book that I finished was Half of Bones by, I think it's L.R. Roth or K.R. Roth or something. Um, I'll put a picture here. T. Ryan and K.M. Roth. And K.M. Roth is a person that I know loosely through, like, the book community. And I found it to be such a charming paranormal mystery series. This is the first book out of, like, a many, many book series, and it just was perfect. It really was such a great read. I thought I was so engaged by it. Super quick, fast-paced read with a ghost element, which honestly is perfect for, like, Halloween or, like, the spooky season. Very, very great. I really like the main character. I love the side characters, and I hope that we get more in that series. And actually, book two is out, and I'm going to definitely read it soon. I also did start. Uh, the Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. I only got up to page like 53. I literally just started this. This is like a two-part book because I got it this way from um, Book Depository or Thrift Books, I think. My friend got it for me. But I, 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 I'm intrigued um, to keep reading. I actually watched a reading vlog where Reagan kind of wrapped up the world and I'm about to meet one of like the main characters in the next section. So I hope to make some progress on this next week. That is my goal. But I did like it enough. And then the audiobook that I just recently finished was um, Lead from the Outside by Stacey Abrams, which is my nonfiction read that I, ch I choose one nonfiction read every single month. This was another like an inspiring, not even, I would definitely say it's inspiring, but it's also just like how to like do well in any aspect of your life and kind of like look lead from the outside like what are some traits you could take from her life and combine to yours found it super engaging and definitely I will take some traits for whenever I'm back in a manager a managerial role again when I'm like a stage manager again because I found it to be super helpful and I started reading a lady's guide to mischief and mayhem and got up to page 105 in this so and my goal is to finish this today it's the Super Bowl I don't really like the Super Bowl to be honest with you but I do want to read this I also did make some watching progress I did watch some of my YouTube videos this week I did watch a little bit of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. um and that's about it um but I have made some changes to my habits and I'm going to talk about those in my next reading vlog but yeah I had a pretty good reading vlog I wound I read Kiss My Cupcake which I gave four stars to. I started reading Way of Kings, which I enjoyed. Path of Bones, I gave five stars to. Lead from the Outside, I gave four stars to. And I am in the middle of A Lady's Guide to Mission Man. So I'll talk to you guys for my next reading vlog. Let me know in the comments what are some books you have been reading recently, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.